I love LED lighting, but if you're like me, you've probably been on Amazon and you scroll through looking for bulbs for your car and you get a little bit overwhelmed by all the options. And there isn't a whole lot of information that distinguishes one as being better than the other. So normally what I do is I just buy whatever's cheapest. The problem with cheap parts is that if you're like me, you probably get really inspired one day, buy a bunch of parts, stockpile them, and then forget about them or just get too lazy to install them. And then when you get inspired again to do it, like several months later, you forget that you have the stuff and then you order the stuff again. I noticed that the backup lights on my Subaru were really dingy the other day and I went on Amazon and ordered some lights. And then when I opened up the box, I looked at them and I was like, wow, this looks a lot like another bulb that I have sitting in a parts bin. And sure enough, they were the exact same size. And when I went on Amazon, I noticed that I did order one set in August and another one back in December and I just never got around to installing that set. The set that I bought most recently was about $2 cheaper and so now I'm wondering, is there really a difference? So, in this video I'm going to show you how to swap out the backup lights in a Subaru Impreza and also see which one of these Amazon LED bulbs is better. On the hatchback, swapping out these bulbs is very easy. Just pop open the hatch and look for the plastic access panel on each side. Insert a small flathead screwdriver into the small recessed area and gently lift up to release the snaps and remove the panel. To remove the bulb, gently twist to release and then pull the bulb straight out of the housing. Whenever you're handling conventional light bulbs, you gotta be really careful because sometimes they can be hot if they've been running for a while. But in the case of a reverse light, that's probably not very likely unless you've been driving in reverse for a long time. Gently pull the bulb out. The new LED light might be challenging to install at first. It felt like it wasn't going to fit, but they are indeed the right size. Just rock them back and forth a little bit till the metal springs compress and the bulb will slide on. Before installing the bulb into the housing, have a friend put the car into reverse to make sure the bulb is working. Then you can install everything in the opposite order as it came out. Very easy. Now, let's answer the question, which LED bulb is better? Here's a look of the two bulbs, Oxlite on the left and iBright Star on the right. They look virtually identical, except the Oxlite is slightly taller. Here's a comparison of the Oxlite bulb installed on the left side and the factory bulb on the right. The LED is noticeably brighter and gives off a clean white light versus the dingy yellowish factory bulb. Now here's a look at the Oxlite on the left and the iBright Star on the right. With my naked eye, I didn't notice a whole lot of difference between these bulbs, so I kind of just arbitrarily picked one and I ended up running the Oxlite on both sides. Looking at the photos though, you can see that the Oxlite is slightly more yellowish while the iBright Star color temperature is slightly more orange. Like I said though, it's not very noticeable with the naked eye. So which is better? I would say that it's kind of a toss up. Both give off a brighter, cleaner light than the factory yellowish, icky bulb. And they're both really cheap. The Oxlite, again, was about $2 cheaper. So we'll see if it holds up. If I'm not mistaken, the rear turn signals on this car is actually the same size bulb. So I might try the LED in that light, but when I looked at the car, it doesn't look like it's as easy to access that bulb as it was for the reverse lights, and I'm kind of lazy, so I'll probably just wait till those bulbs burn out, and then maybe I'll swap them later. Anyway, hope you guys found this helpful. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and hit the notify bell. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.